Welcome to Spotlight on Lakewood. I'm Mayor Adam Paul, and today we're gonna to continue our community conversation about health. I'm here today at the Jefferson Center for Mental Health, joined by CEO, Dr. Harriet Hall. Welcome, thank you for being a part of this show. Sure. All right. Happy so, to be here. Yeah, so community health has many different aspects, and we're gonna talk about mental health. Help me understand or help the viewers understand the importance of uh, mental health in our day-to-day -day life. Okay. So I think one of the one of the sayings I really like a lot is um, there's no health without mental health. Um, it's been variously attributed to the World Health Organization or to our former Surgeon General David Satcher. I don't know who really said it first, but it's really mental health is a key important piece of overall health. Um, people usually think of us as a specialty, but really mental health is important in all aspects of health. How common are mental health issues? Well, they're pretty common. Um, the statistics, and um, again, s cited by a number of sources, um, one in five folks in any year have a mental health problem. One in five, that's a lot. That's true for adults, that's true for adolescents. Um, not so true for little kids, but um, you know, pretty much one in five. And um, it's, a, it's a, just a part of, um, a part of life that uh, has a lot of stigma attached but shouldn't. Yeah. Shouldn't at all, especially as common as, as it is. And not only are there mental effects, but it also can affect our physical well, well-being. Absolutely, well. absolutely. I mean, I think the, the, the saying I opened with is, uh, is a big reflection of that. But when, when someone has a physical health problem and they also have a mental health problem, um, it's, it's much harder, much more difficult for them to actually um, deal with their physical health problems. Um, physical health problems often have an emotional component in their causation as well. I think most physical problems are impacted by um, mental health issues, but um, the, the um, diagnoses, physical health diagnoses that have the most um, significant component of mental health um, are, let's see if I can remember them, arthritis and um, asthma and COPD. Okay. Um, diabetes, um, heart disease, and one more that is escaping my mind right now. But um, when people have um, one of these conditions and a co-occurring mental health problem, um, it's more difficult to treat them and it's much, much more expensive. So that someone, for example, with a diagnosis of diabetes who also has um, a diagnosis of depression, um, it's probably going to cost about $500 a month more to provide their health care um, than someone without the mental health um, diagnosis. Okay, and, and sometimes I, I think we've heard that being physically active can help your mental health status. Oh, as absolutely. Well. So you can kind of combat the four of those things that you talked about with maybe combining both mental health, wellness, and physical activity. Well, that's very true, and, and a, another whole component of this is that for people with serious mental illness, which is a, you know, a fairly small proportion of those folks who have mental health problems, but still, for someone with serious mental illness, they die 25 years sooner, on average, than someone who doesn't have a serious mental illness. And that's not because they commit suicide, which a lot of people kind of okay. jump to that conclusion that that's the reason. It's because their physical health problems um, and the way their mental illness impacts their ability to take care of themselves um, really then impact their, their longevity and their, their physical condition. So share with our viewers a little bit about your organization and, and you, you service all of Jefferson County, is that correct? We serve all of Jefferson County. In addition, we serve Gilpin and Clear Creek County. And uh, do you know kind of what percentage of folks f are from the city of Lakewood? Um, I think it's pretty proportional yeah. to what proportion of Jefferson County Lakewood is. Okay. And what are the most common things that you see here as far as mental health issues? So the most common problems that we work with are anxiety and depression. Um, with I think depression is in the lead over anxiety, but those two are by far the, um, the most common things that we serve. And they are, that there's quite a continuum for both in terms of um, very serious anxiety disorders and very serious depression um, and things that are more situational and, and just require a, sh a little bit of help. How about some pointers for maintaining mental health or for folks that might have some questions of if they're struggling with mental health or uh, how they can reach out and, and get some help? Like you said earlier, there's a stigma and there shouldn't be. You know, when 
your knee hurts or your arm hurts, you go to the doctor. Right, right. And uh, this is, should be no different, right? Yeah. Yeah, so um, I think that one of, the, one of the most important things really that, that I would say is take care of yourself. Um, and take care of yourself physically in addition to emotionally. Um, so, you know, get enough sleep and eat well and, and be physically active and do all of those things that help to keep you healthy overall and that helps you also to stay emotionally healthy. I think the other things that are really important are don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be ashamed when you're feeling down or you're feeling anxious. Um, it's not something to be ashamed of. It's something to figure out how to deal with. Um, you know, use your support systems um, and okay. come to the mental health center if you need to. Certainly. Are there uh, signs that one could look for? So, you know, that's a, that's a pretty complicated question, right. actually, because there are lots and yeah. lots of signs. And so I'd hesitate to give three and then have people think they kind of had it. In fact, that's so complicated that we offer a class called Mental Health First Aid. Um, and Mental Health First Aid is an eight-hour class. Um, and um, folks who take it um, learn not only what to look for in their friends and neighbors or in themselves, um, you know, but what to do about it, how to help people, what what times, in what cir circumstances they can step in and be supportive, in what circumstances they need to ask for outside help or send somebody for outside help. So is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewers about your organization or any upcoming events or programs? I mean, I think people are fairly familiar with um, outpatient therapy and the kind of help that people um, get when they go and talk to a psychologist or a social worker. Um, so we provide that whole range of mental health services, but there's a number of other things that we do that I think people are less familiar with that I thought maybe um, I might want to mention. Um, one of them is that we are in um, about 45 of the schools in Jefferson County right now um, providing mental health services in a variety of different kinds of ways. And this is a very effective way to, um, to help folks because that stigma that we talked about um, kids go to school anyhow so they can get help they can get help there um, and not have to ask for it and not have to feel like they're um, mm -hmm. sick and going someplace else to get the help um, I think another um, real important service that is really growing and it's very it's very tied to the link between physical health and mental health is our integrated care services um, right now we're providing mental health services in um, about 25 different um, private um, uh, uh, primary care offices um, throughout the county. Um, it's a growing number. It seems like every month we add um, one or two um, or, or are working with one or two to, to, to add to that um, so that folks, when they see their doctor, can also um, have their mental health issues um, dealt with. Um, we also have a very strong collaboration with Metro Community Provider Network, MCPN, um, which is the federally qualified health center that serves this area. Um, and MCPN, um, so we are in three of their locations. Um, one of them is in Lakewood. Um, a lot of those primary care offices are in Lakewood sure. as well. Um, and um, providing um, integrated, integrated care there. Um, the thing that a lot of people don't know about us is that we provide wellness services. Um, and these are services to help people be emotionally well, but also physically well. Right. Um, we have a, right. a course catalog okay. um, that comes out quarterly. Um, and the courses, um, some of them are really designed for our own clients to help them with their wellness. But a lot of them are community classes that people in the community can take. Um, and. Um, I think a lot of people don't know about that, but it's uh, it's a very important piece, I think, for um, um, for our service to the community in terms of helping this to Absolutely. be a healthy community. Whole, whole body health. It looks like it looks like you even have eating classes, smoking classes, smoking cessation, yeah. yoga. And and for more information on this, it looks like you can go to wellnessnowjcmh.org. You can. All right. Um, absolutely. Yeah, we've got a great website actually. So for if people are looking for what's available, why they should go to www.jcmh.org. Perfect. And then the last thing I wanted to mention, we have a growing um, array of services for veterans and veterans' families. Um, people tend to think that a community program wouldn't need to deal with veterans because you've got the VA, 
but um, they, they, the focus, our focus is much more on families of veterans, um, and then there are a fair number of veterans who, um, for one reason or another, aren't eligible for VA services, so we feel like that's an important thing it's for us to important. do. very important, and yeah. uh, as we're kind of winding down some of our longest wars, we have a lot of veterans, a lot of younger veterans right. in our community, right. and uh, it's, I'm glad that you shared that with our viewers so folks know that that is available as well. So you're very involved in the community. Do you have any events coming up? Well, in April, um, we just happened to have an event in Lakewood. Um, it's, event, and it's an event for um, veterans and family members of veterans, particularly aimed at children, um, about a dog who's a support member for a veteran. Okay. Um, there's some information about it right there. Um, and then, coming in May, May is Mental Health Month. Now this is not just us celebrating this, but across the country people celebrate May as Mental Health Month. And um, it's a time for raising awareness um, and helping people to understand that um, mental health is um, common, mental health is treatable, um, and it's important and should not be stigmatized. Um, letting people know right. that it's easy to get help um, and raising awareness. And uh, I want to thank you and your staff for all the work you do to help make our community a better place. It's meaningful and it's powerful, so thank well, you for that. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you for tuning in to Spotlight on Lakewood. I hope you enjoyed this important segment and please know that if you have any questions or need any help, there's always somebody there to answer those questions. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.